Hey guys, welcome back. I am uh, just about to start a pasteurization or a cold pasteurization of this uh, straw here that I've chopped up uh, for some mushroom grows. So as you see here, I've got this straw chopped up uh, and it's, you know, average, they say one to four inches. I know mine is a little bit finer than that. You have to be careful. And I don't know if you can even see the dust come off of this. Um, but, you know, you can't get it too fine because if it's too fine, it holds too much moisture. I have a habit of doing that because of what I use to chop up the straw. Um, kind of takes it overboard a little bit. But, you know, we just kind of compensate for that. Uh, this is what I typically uh, will cut the straw up in. And as you see, over the years, <laughs> this uh, can or this metal uh, trash can has taken some damage uh, just from using the... Uh, blade attachment as you see here uh, to get the straw cut up into sections that are uh, much easier for mycelium growth so I have some high yield hydrated lime here if you can kind of see I'm trying to film with one hand high yield hydrated lime um, one way that I make sure that everything gets pasteur pasteurized is that I will shake some all throughout and then kind of mix it uh, and by doing that, I make sure that there aren't any pockets that don't get it. I'm about to fill this tub with water. And after I fill it with water, I will uh, take a board or something like this to place down over everything to make sure that it does not, um, you know, that the, that the straw does not float too much. You know, you have to make sure that you keep it submerged. So that's pretty much the operation there. Um, I probably will add a little bit more of the lime as I go along. Um, can you use too much lime? Uh, I probably use way too much. Uh, I've, I don't really have a, um, uh, a measured amount that I use. Uh, when I first started it, someone told me just to use uh, a couple of handfuls for, let's say, a 50-gallon drum. Um, so I don't know. I basically just kind of eyeball it, see what I feel like, make sure that it's, um, you know, that I can see that the lime is throughout. I'm going to right now just start to fill this up with water. And, uh, once I do, um, and it will obviously take a while, fill this up completely with the hose. So, you know, I'll let you know, uh, tomorrow <laughs> we'll make another video tomorrow once I start mixing up the bags. But once I get this uh, started to soak, and I still may even add more of the hydrated lime uh, to this, but it really only just needs a couple of handfuls. Um, but you just want to make sure that it's saturated throughout. So I will fill up the tub, let it soak for about 18 hours. And after uh, a good 18 hours, you don't really want to go much longer than that. But after a good 18 hours, we can start uh, mixing up. It should be pasteurized at that point and we can start mixing up our bags. So this is just uh, one step in the process. And, uh, well, wish me luck. <laughs> Not that I really need any luck, but uh, like I said, I'll be uh, filling this up and let me see if I can lock this with one hand. Uh, there we go. So I will uh, fill this up. I'll make sure I stir it around really good with my rake just to make sure that, you know, everybody gets some. And then I'll throw this board here on top of it just to hold everything down a little bit more. And we'll let that go for approximately 18 hours. And that is what we call our cold wet water uh, pasteurization. Don't want to use up all my lime because I have a lot more that I want to do after this. But that's pretty much the process we go through. So, all right, guys, have a good one. I will um, make another video once I mix this uh, all together after the pasteurization.